Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're doing the ECMWF 30 day forecast for the uh, UK and for the rest of Europe as well. So as always on a Tuesday, we're having a look at the weather for the next 30 days uh, with the ECX cinema. We will have a look at these five and six days as well because why not? But traditionally this is a 30 day month head look head and I shall get time that for you in a moment to say about the first video today was our 6 a.m. upload and if that wasn't enough we've also released uh the we are oh, going to release 10 to 14 there later on so please check out today's videos and thank you so much everybody uh yeah, thank you so much to ecm.it for supplying the charts as well by the way uh right so we're going to begin with the week one mean sea level pressure anomaly for uh, europe we've got a trough of low pressure sitting across northern and western parts of Europe combined with blocking area of high pressure in Greenland and Iceland. <coughs> Excuse me, everyone. And then high pressure is down across the southern and southeastern part of Europe. A jet stream is going to be doing something uh, a little bit like that. Uh, so it's a more unsettled week uh, this week uh, across many northwestern parts of Europe and uh, not as cold as it has been. This takes us from the 19th to 26th of December, by the way. 500 millibar heights are only from the Arctic North Pole view down. Looks like that. Below average heights across northern and western Europe. Above average heights, high pressure across southern and southeastern parts of Europe. Again, jet stream will be doing something uh, a little bit like this. The temperature anomaly then for uh, week one. But generally milder across most parts of Europe. Still quite cold across uh, Scandinavia. So Sweden and Norway looking quite cold. Just into the far north of Scotland as well. But otherwise you have above average temperatures in uh, most parts of Europe. So all the way from Portugal and Spain in the west. Right way to the Russian border in the east. Uh, we see generally above average temperature, temperatures. This is a much milder week across most parts of Europe. The core of the warmth is across France. Where we're in both deep red colours. So that's 6 to 10 degrees above average. Wow, wow, wow. And more unsettled too, so uh, precipitation above average in many northern and western areas. Still a little bit on the dry side for uh, particularly Norway, but also in parts of Sweden. A little bit wetter though around Finland and around the Baltic Sea states of Latvia, Estonia and Lithuania. So that could be snow, of course, it'll still be quite cold uh, over in the northeastern corner. Meanwhile, out west where we see above average rainfall uh, across much of Portugal, and into northern Spain, through many parts of France, into Ireland, the UK, the Low Countries, Belgium, Holland, Netherlands, Germany, up to Denmark as well. So uh, above average rainfall through there. Not where everywhere, everywhere though. The southern and southeastern parts of Europe are drier than uh, north, from eastern parts of Spain over towards uh, Greece and Turkey in the east, and all points in between, we see dry up and average uh, precipitation anomalies there. So I suppose the place to go if you want a bit of winter sun, Miss Christmas is probably down to Greece and Turkey, relatively uh, warm through there, and also quite dry as well. Right, week two will be the 26th of December to the 2nd of January. High pressure then appears out to the west of the UK and Ireland. Drop of low pressure into western parts of Russia. This high pressure reaching into western Europe of a jet stream. Wind flow could be doing something uh, a little bit like that. So the 500 millibar height anomaly. Looks like that with an area of above average heights out to the west in the North Atlantic, reaching up towards Greenland. There's a trough of below average heights over northern parts of Europe and then high pressure reaching through these more southern parts of Europe as well. Temperature anomalies week two turn colder in the north and west again, so becoming colder than average through Ireland, the UK, Scandinavia and just into northern parts of France as well. Meanwhile, further southwards, though, uh, it's relatively mild through much of Spain, Portugal, into the central bowl of the Med, Italy, and over the Adriatic into the Balkans, also looking relatively mild, and up the eastern side of Europe as well, around the Black Sea, into southwestern parts of Russia, above average temperatures through there. In between, the temperature anomalies are uh, near normal. And then precipitation-wise, for week two, we look like that. So drier than average just out to our west, to west of Ireland, looking a little bit drier than all through there, 
and into western parts of Europe as well. So Ireland, UK, France, Spain, Portugal, up to Scandinavia, dry and average temperature is here. I believe the far north east Europe it's a little bit wetter than average around those Baltic sea states, but overall quite a dry scene really for most parts of Europe. The Mediterranean also looking pretty dry, especially over in the eastern part of the uh, Med, very dry through there. Week 3 will be a 2nd to the 9th of January. That's how we're looking with the mean sea level pressure anomaly. Low pressure developing in the Atlantic between the UK and Spain. Portugal, high pressure perhaps over towards the eastern side of uh, Europe there. 500 millibar heights look like this. So uh, it's a little bit different with that. Above average heights reaching in from the Atlantic into northern parts of Europe with below average heights around Spain and Portugal. Winds potentially coming in from more of an easterly direction there. The temperature anomaly begins to turn a bit milder out west into early January. So Ireland, Portugal, Spain and some parts of France, you're a little bit above average temperature anomaly. Much of the Med also looking uh, relatively mild out to the extreme eastern side of uh, Europe. In between you have a large white area, um, and that's no signal. I suspect probably still quite calm. You know, northern parts of Europe. And the precipitation anomaly uh, is looking like that. So, wetter than average down towards Spain and Portugal. Drier than average in the North Atlantic. Over the northern parts of Scandinavia again. Otherwise, not much of a signal. Signals are weakening uh, when we get into week three. Week four will be the night to the 16th of January. No signal at all from a mean cell pressure anomaly perspective. So, we'll put in a couple of question marks. Uh, there, I think the 500 millibar height and over week four looks like that. So, we've got some above average heights through the uh North Atlantic there, going up towards Greenland, uh, and over on the eastern side of Europe. Probably going to be a trough through here, I would have thought, and a dip in Jackson. So, that might be going a little bit colder again through northern and western parts of Europe. However, the temperature obviously looks relatively mild actually. So. Uh, above our temperatures in many areas by this point, especially so for like southern southwestern parts of Europe, not as clear cut further north, but that clearly looks like a mild a week through most parts of Europe. And mean precipitation anomaly, not much of a signal, but a little bit on the dry side out to the far north and northwest, otherwise we don't have much signal left week four. Week five will be the 16th, 23rd of January. Now the high pressure begins to come back towards Scandinavia then. So uh, could that start to wind back into the east again, across the northern parts of Europe? That's quite interesting, isn't it? 500 millibar heights uh, look like this, so above average heights again to our north, below average heights to our south, winds potentially coming in from an easterly uh, direction with that one. Temperature anomalies are lowering, maybe hinting at becoming a little bit colder across Scandinavia. If wind does get into the east, it's mid-January, so if the wind does get into the east, it's likely to, to turn <laughs> properly cold. Um, Precipitation-wise, again, not much of a signal. Looks driest where we've got that Scandinavian high up here, of course. A little bit on the wet side in this eastern and southeast part of Europe. And then week six will be the 23rd to the 30th of January. And uh, if anything, that high pressure strengthens over Scandinavia. Low pressure into the south. Again, winds likely to be coming in from the east across much of northern uh, Europe. How interesting. Weeks five and six. Wow, wow, wow. Around for 30 day forecast time frame now, of course. But uh, even so, that, uh, that does look a very interesting mean sea level pressure anomaly. I'm not sure that 500 millibar heights are going to load. Oh, yes, it is. So uh, there we go. 500 millibar heights again, suggesting quite a lot of blocking. We've been in high latitudes, lower pressure. To the south, winds again likely be coming in from the east. Could the second half of January turn very cold, I wonder. The temperature anomaly for the uh, week 6 period from the 23rd, 30th of January looking like that. If it's going to load, I wonder whether it will. Running very slow at the moment on the ECM website. Oh, yes, it is. There we go. Colder than average. Look at that with both easterly winds through the UK, through France, through the low countries, into Germany and Poland as well. That's been brought in by those easterly winds uh, courtesy of Scandinavian High. And lastly, can we get this to load up the precipitation anomaly from the 23rd, 30th of January? We can see where the high pressure is blocking, can't you? You can see where 
it's drive an average up towards Scandinavia. Uh, that's where we've got Scandinavia high with the east winds wet across much of southern Europe. So um, wet down across south of Europe and dry and cold in the north of Europe. Weeks 5, 6, looking very interesting there. The plot is figuring, everybody. Okay, we're done with this week's uh, EC 30-day forecast for the UK and for the rest of Europe as well. I'm not sure if we do one next week. We're in the middle of Christmas week next week. So uh, I might take next Tuesday off and we come back, you know, uh, when we get into uh, the new year. Generally, I do pair back quite a few of the updates, you know, over the Christmas week. So that I'm not doing as many videos. But we'll see. I might, you know, I'll see what time I've got. Right, well, that's it for your phone. Yeah, look ahead for the UK and Russia Europe 2 for this week. Uh, we're going to be back later on with the 10 14 day. We'll include all our great features. Come back for that, man, for this week's EC30 day. Look ahead. That's all for now, though, and thanks for watching.